price of a new vehicle is more than $45,000 nationwide, so many people can't afford to buy a new one. WIFR's Anthony Freddy talks with a local repair shop about why it could be cheaper to repair your old vehicle than it is to invest in a new one. The average age for cars, trucks, and SUVs is a record 12.2 six years in 2024. That's according to an automotive data provider. That is a two month increase from last year's record. We're seeing people bring in cars with over 200,000 miles on them, most of the cases. From transmission repairs to oil leaks and more, FNF Tire World Cherry Valley Service Manager David Adams says many people would rather spend money on repairing their vehicle than investing in a new ride. Instead of buying the kids a brand new car, they go to a used car lot, find a used one. You spend a couple thousand dollars a year on it, they'll last you a lot, lifetime. Auto experts say another factor causing buyers to hold out is deciding on an EV, hybrid, or gasoline vehicle. Some worry the charging network could run out of battery depending on how far they travel. I haven't looked at a new one for a long time, so but I understand they're getting pretty pricey. Jay Nellis brought his wife's car to the shop Friday afternoon to get the brake light switch checked out. It's a reliable car. It's a, you know, like I said, it's gonna be 23 years old in a few months and really hasn't given us that much trouble. The vehicle roughly has 44,000 miles on it because they don't drive often, so he doesn't see the need for a new car. People we know are happy with what they have and. Not a lot of interest in new ones unless something major happens. Adam says the supply chain might not impact repairs of an older vehicle as much as the newer ones. A lot of the older cars, as long as they're not obsolete, they're still making them. Adams adds this is also the time of year that people prep their vehicles for summer vacation. He recommends to get your vehicle checked out sooner rather than later. Thank you, Anthony. And experts say the average age of used vehicles is slowing down as vehicle sales recover from the pandemic.